in this video I want to explain better the average product, the marginal product and the connection between them on a graph and using some algebra. This is going to be a fairly difficult concept to explain but I hope that with this example it will be fairly understandable. So let's go. Now first of all I will explain intuitively why I drew these curves the way I drew them and then I will use a numerical example to prove my point even further. So as, as you can see we have the relationship between the total product produced and the quantity of labor. If you remember from the previous video I said that production depends on the variable inputs most often that's going to be the labor because the fixed inputs are incurred once. The fixed costs are paid once and after that production depends on the variable inputs that are utilized on top of the fixed factors that we have like capital and land. So the marginal product curve, this red curve over here, as we can see it rises up to a certain point, okay? It rises up to a certain point and beyond that point it starts falling. What does it mean? It means that with every additional unit of labor, which in our case will going to be the number of workers that we hire, our production increases up to a certain point and beyond that point it starts falling down. Now why is that the case? Suppose that we have employees, workers that harvest apples. We produce apples, we produce kilograms of apples. Why would the marginal product of a apple producer rise and then fall? Because we have a fixed capacity of land where we grow the trees of apples. So therefore, just by hiring more people doesn't necessarily mean that we will produce or collect or harvest more apples from the trees. Since that additional labor for a fixed input of land is going to become less and less efficient. So therefore, with more and more employees on the field trying to harvest those apples, there will be less and less apples available for each additional employee that's trying to harvest them. Hope this makes sense. So therefore the marginal product curve has a diminishing gradient beyond the point due to falling efficiency, due to decreasing efficiency. Now the other point I would like to draw your attention on is this purple point I highlighted over here where the average product curve intersects the marginal product curve. The purple curve is the average product curve and as you can notice the average product curve rises up to a point and then it starts falling coincidentally exactly when the marginal product is falling and they intersect each other. So when the average product curve intersects the marginal product curve and the marginal product curve is decreasing, has a decreasing rate, the average product curve starts having a decreasing rate as well. Intuitively, this means that when they get to the same level of average product and marginal product, if the additional employees are becoming less efficient and less productive, on average, the productivity per employee falls. Now, I will prove it with a numerical example. Suppose that the level where the average product and the marginal product are equal to each other is the level of having 10 workers on the apple field, okay? 10 workers have an average productivity and the marginal productivity of 10 kilograms produced, 10 kilograms of apple harvested per worker, okay? So I'll write it over here. App average product equals to marginal product equals to 10 kilograms harvested per worker. Now, <clears throat> I'll go further with the math. What is the total production in this case? The total production at that given level is going to be 10 workers that are employed multiplied with 10 kilograms per worker produced each. So that's going to give us 100 kilograms of apples produced in total by those 10 people at this specific point, okay? Over here, that's our total product. Now, suppose that when we hire one more unit of labor, one more worker, we go from 10 to 11, okay? We go from 10 to 11 over here. 
the marginal product of the 11th worker is going to be 8 kilograms. Suppose that the marginal product is going to be 8 kilograms. The additional, the additional kilograms that the worker harvests is going to be 8. So therefore the total product after we go to the 11th employee, okay, the total product created by 11 employees is going to be 100 kilograms that we used to have plus the marginal product of 8 kilograms harvested by the 11th employee. So that becomes 108 kilograms. Now what's going to be the average product at that given level? What is this number? the one on the purple curve as we can see it's slightly less than 10 and it's for a reason because as i argued previously i said that the marginal product when that diminishes the average product starts diminishing as well and notice how this is going to apply algebraically 108 okay the total product of the 11 employees divided by 11 employees that we are currently hiring is going to give us, I'm doing it right now, 108 divided by 11, 9.8. So the average product is going to be 9.8 kilograms per worker at that given level. And it's exactly corresponding to our curve. It's slightly less than 10. So the average product starts falling because after the intersection point between MP and AP, the diminishing marginal product is dragging down the average product as well. I really hope that this example was able to prove that. Anyway, hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.